I know what I think. I think social media is forcing us to look further into um, everything. We're looking deeper and further into things that we normally wouldn't look deeper into. Um, we're making a big deal out of things we wouldn't normally make a big deal out of. No man I, ever, I have ever dated said anything about 50 feet to what you bring to the table. Um, I've never paid for a date. These things and, and, and all of these things and, and all of this stuff, I never knew about none of this stuff until I've been on social media. All this $40 talk and all this stuff. This stuff is social media, and we look at it and own it so much so that your mind is being programmed with this stuff. It's not real life. A real man don't, don't come say, what you bring to the table? We gonna go 50-50. Men don't do stuff like that. They don't have no problem with providing. Um, It's just crazy. And then, like, to follow up on that, um, <clears throat> the illusion of the it man and the it girl. You're seeing people from all over the world. Alright? They've probably been working out since they was little. And now you want what they got. And now you want to go after these girls. Know your lane. That's why a lot of people are mad because they are out of their league. I made a word about this before. It's me and sit on Facebook all day and bash women and say, oh, they go after the thug, they go after this, they go after that or whatever. They're going after what they're accustomed to or what they're used to. And just because you're not being picked, you don't get mad. You're trying to go for somebody that's out of your league. That's why you mad. That's why you mad. You got to be sensible about this now. Stay in your lane. Same thing for the females. You want six figure dude? Stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. Y'all mad because y'all not getting picked by who y'all want to get picked by. That's not your lane. 